How did you find me? Mario Auditore, let me hear. in the hands of man. Uncle! What can I say? We sent a single man against an entire army. I was worried. Quick, climb up. We have to get out of here. You would not believe the things I have seen, Mario. Then be sure to stay alive that I might hear of them. I expect opposition. And I expect the Borgia to mourn the loss of many lives tonight. Che cosa fate qui? Assassini! God will see you pay for your crimes! You have desecrated the sanctity of this holy place! You condemn what you do not understand! We must go, Ezio! Now! This decision is yours alone to make. Only do so quickly! Give it to me! You can do with it as you will later. Bene. Jump! upgraded the arsenal while you were away. Oh, and it is now customary for you to fire cannonballs at visitors. My apologies. We only installed them a few days ago. My men are still being trained in their use. Thanks to you. Brother! Claudia. It is good to be home. How is mother? She's fine. I, I heard you were returning, but I'm glad to see it with my own eyes. The Contessa of Forli is here to welcome you. I had no idea you were so famous. Katarina? Here? Is it finished, then? Is the Spaniard truly dead? Gather the others in Mario's study tonight. I'll explain everything there. Steal yourself, Ezio. They will have many questions. Buongiorno, Ezio. Caterina, to what do I owe the pleasure of your presence here? I desire an allegiance. The papal armies have resumed their march on Forli. Your mercenaries would be a great asset to my cause. It is likely that I can give you what you seek. But we will talk later. Mother! Machiavelli. It is done. Though not, I think, as any of us expected. I entered the Vaticano and faced Rodrigo. No! The power of the papal staff against me, but I defeated him. 
Finding the staff and the apple, I gained access to the vault. There, a moving painting of the goddess Minerva spoke. She told of a terrible tragedy to befall mankind in the future, but gave hope of lost temples that will provide aid to humanity. And then she called out to a phantom, Desmond, as if he were there, standing beside me. After her warning, she vanished. Amazing. I cannot imagine such wonders. The vault did not house the terrible weapon we feared. This is good news. What of this goddess, this Minerva? Did she appear human? Yes, but her words proved otherwise. All of her kind died many years ago. I wish I could show you the magic she performed. Who is Desmond, and where are these temples Minerva spoke of? I do not know. Perhaps we must search for them. Tell me how it ended with Borgia. Did Rodrigo beg forgiveness? Make excuses? Promise power in return? No. None of those things. Interesting. I'm surprised he remained so composed. I let him leave. The Spaniard lives? Once our enemies are dead, we can speak of vaults and gods and ancient places. You should have killed him. We're sure to suffer for it. I am not here to debate the past. Together, we should discuss the future. No. I am leaving immediately for Rome. Ezio, I do not know why you spared him, but I trust your judgment. Machiavelli will come around. Ready to go again? You don't need to ask. <laughs> One should always have the freedom to choose. Shh! What's that? <sighs> Probably just training exercises. Merda! I have to find Mario and rally the troops. My men are in the courtyard. I aim to lead them around back and flank our attackers. Stay out of sight. It's the Borgia! How did we not see this? They must have massed to the east during the night. We need to hold them off until the townspeople have escaped. I will take care of it. Use the cannons above the rampart. I intend to lead a frontal assault. Do you have it? I am keeping it safe. The Borgia must not be allowed to breach the walls until everyone is safely away. Insieme per la vittoria. Insieme. Uncle, be careful. I will. I know you're there, it's 
Lucio! The Pope told me about you and your little group of assassins. Andres! Give me the gun, his friend passion for us! We've had too much bloodshed! I think the cleansing is in order. So consider this an invitation from my family! To yours! Basta! I can walk. Look out! They are coming! Everyone, retreat to the villa! Uh, I cannot fight like this. Stand with me! I will hold them back. Stop! Wait for us! We thought you had been killed, Sir Ezio. Not yet. Where does this passage lead? To the north, outside the walls. I am surprised it exists. <laughs> Let me through. I must go help the troops. Not leave without you. The way out will be dangerous. Protect our mother. Where is Mario? I thought he would be waiting for us. The Borgia infantry are circling the town. Mario is dead. You must leave this place. Take mother to Firenze. Get me a horse. You are not coming with us. Where are you riding? To Roma. Go, my son. Destroy them. But remember for whom we assassins fight. Calmatevi. The pain will end soon. Where have you brought me? Nowhere, Messere. A man left you here. Did he say anything? Only this. You are to meet Messer Machiavelli in front of the Mausoleo di Augusto. Let me help you get dressed. The same man who brought me here gave me these clothes? Si, Messere. Yes, or what is left of it since the Borgia came to power. And the mausoleo? Unfortunately, you cannot see it from here. How about from the top of that church? Yes, but the stairs up are closed. That should not be a problem. Vi ringrazio di tutto quello che avete fatto per me, buona donna. Addio. Salute. I require medicine. Ah, uh, let me look. Someone your age cannot recover from a wound like this with medicine. Here is something to dull the pain. You will heal over time. Grazie. Four out of five doctors would suggest leeches, but they have not proven effective against such things. However, I can recommend several good colleagues around the city. Do you need anything else? She was beautiful. She was, until that porco defiled her. I wish he just killed her. I wish he just killed La Mia Amata. People who saw her grow up cheered when he spat on her. Smiles on their faces when her neck... I understand. How can you? My Livia was innocent. I have lost family to the rope, to treachery, 
Il Carnefice watches from his home on the hill above. He threatens to hang me if I cut her rope. When you are ready, take her down. I will deal with Il Carnefice. Requiescat in pace. Ezio, what a surprise to see you here. I thought you had sent for me. Never. News of the villa attack has spread across the city. We were certain that you were dead. Not yet. I am still very much alive. The Borgia must not discover that you escaped them. And the guards have their guns, courtesy of the Borgia. Fortunately, I can help you. Grazie. While you are in my debt, perhaps you will listen to reason. As soon as I hear some, I will let you know. Should we not travel by horse? Roma is quite large. As Cesare's conquests in Romagna continue to succeed and the Borgia grow in power, they have taken desirable areas of the city for themselves. We cannot use the stables here. Oh, the will of the Borgia is law now? What are you implying, Ezio? Do not play dumb with me, Machiavelli. Just because you kill a few guards does not mean the people will grant access to the stables. You are right. We need to send a signal. Wait here. It seems this table is now available for purchase. After you. You are wrong. Our belief in humanity rests at the heart of the Assassin Brotherhood. <laughs> he must be from your inner circle. Go, get back what he has stolen. Did you liberate your money from our friend? I did. A small victory. They are up, and in time with work we'll have a few dozen more. And in time, Cesare's gaze will return to us, and we'll be broken again. Now, where is my contact, Vinicio? He should have already intercepted the letter. Follow me. He was attempting to steal official Vatican mail. Perdonati, mi signore. You must be mistaken. Who are you working for, ladro? I am working for no one. Then no one will care what we do to you. Grazie. Where is it? The courier still has the letter. The followers of Romulus. This band of false pagans has been terrorizing the city for months and driving the people into the arms of the church. Quite convenient. Exactly. I believe the Borgia are supporting them, but proof remains scarce. That is why the letter is so important. Here it is. I hope you can break a cipher. Cazzo! Another encryption. This one was supposed to be legible. They are transmitting them using a code sheet. Without it, we have nothing. Sometimes logic is not the only way to win a war. Antiamo! You said we had allies in this city. Bring me to them. Follow me. We recently began traveling through the tunnels to avoid the guards. But many of the entrances in the city are broken. By using them, we can get to our destination rapidly without encountering resistance. Ben trovato, Nicolò. Ah, Ser Ezio. A pleasure. Fabio Orsini, at your service. I've heard a great deal about you from my cousin, Bartolomeo Dalviano. A fine warrior. Fabio has lent us in a new storeroom on Isola Tiberina. I know you were used to better accommodations in Toscana. It is perfect. Bene. Then I am off to begin preparations for Romagna. Today, Cesare commands my men, but soon, I hope we will be free. Now I propose we begin planning our assault on the Borgia. Oh, you think we are ready for such an attack? See, si. 
Do you know, for instance, where the Borgia troops took Katarina Sforza? What? Are you also unaware that the Borgia have captured the Apple of Eden? How could we have lost the Apple? So, you do not know what goes on with our enemies. Do we at least have an underground here to work with? Hardly. Our mercenaries are ensnared in a losing battle with Cesare's French allies. We have girls working for us in a brothel, frequented by cardinals and other important Romans. But the madam there is lazy, and would rather attend parties than further our cause. What about the city's thieves? Do they have a guild? Si, but they refuse to talk to us. I don't know why. What are you going to do? Make some friends. Welcome to the Rosa in Fiore, stranger. Salve. Would you be kind enough to call the owner for me? Madonna Solari is not in. Do you know where she is? I... Aiuto! Aiuto! Madonna Solari! Oh, Lucia! We thought you were gone for good. The men took us on a ship, and they released me, but she... Who took you on a ship? Slave traders, Messere, near Isola Tiberina. They want coin in exchange for her life. I will get her back. Are you here for the whore? Are you dirty me? I have your money. Let her go. No! Take it up with Cesare! Mother? Sister? Ezio. Sir Machiavelli said that you might be here. What are you doing in Roma? Has Firenze been attacked? No, or rather, I do not know. We did not go to Firenze. Why? Ezio, we want to help. I was trying to help you by sending you to Firenze. Where is Madonna Solari? She's dead. Merda. What now? Will we have to close? You cannot close. I need your help. Messere, without someone who can run things, we're finished. I'll do it. You do not belong here, Claudia. I know how to run a business. I ran Uncle Mario's for years. This is different. What alternative do you have, Ezio? You do this, Claudia, and you are on your own. I've been on my own for 20 years. Fine. I intend to repair the brothel. This place is a real mess, and I want your courtesans to find Katarina Sforza. You can count on us. Welcome to the Rosa in Fiore. As you can see, the most popular brothel in Roma. My money went well invested. Here, I keep a list of the skills taught to my girls. You're not teaching them much. Think you could do better? Nessun problema. Ezio, the Borgia make it difficult for Claudia's girls. There are several things you could do that would aid them. I will keep that in mind. Anything else? No. Ezio. Did you find Katarina? We are working on it. Bene. Come to see me at Isola Tiberina with her location. Buongiorno, Madre. Ezio. Thank you for coming to see what me. What troubles the courtesans? The old proprietor of this brothel, Madonna Solari, was a cheat and liar. Her ties to the church have been uncovered. Worse, several of those who work for us sleep with the enemy still. I will find them. Visit the girls I trust. They will help you. Grazie, Ezio. Who is this man? He comes from Prussia. I hear he studies at the Vaticano. But his words are unlike any that issue from that place. Some may tell you to be content with Ptolemy's explanation of the heavens. His mathematical contortions of the spheres dancing around the Earth. But why are such complicated numbers required? Perhaps to disguise a myriad of contradictions? You must question bad logic. It is why we live, to ask questions. Kill him quickly. 
The Master wants all the scholars silenced by nightfall. If the Borgia are involved, then so am I. Who are you that defends without cause? One who believes in freedom. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. Ezio. They call me Niccolò Copernico. I have heard your name spoken at the Borgia court. But now I have proof that you truly exist. Il Vaticano welcomes you, yet you are under attack by its guards. You think me one of them? But truthfully, you would be right. Yesterday, I was a Templar. And today? The Templars wanted me to keep the findings of my experiments hidden. And that I cannot do. The Borgia hunt for you and your friends. My fellow scholars? The logic of such a purge escapes me. Find Copernico! But we will discuss reasoning later. Follow me. You will be safe here. What of the other scholars? How do I know I can trust you? How do you know anything? Knowledge gathering is a dangerous enterprise. Easier to stay in place, learning nothing, than to risk in order to truly know. All right. Enlighten me. Take these letters to the scholars. They must be informed of the threat to their safety. All letters are delivered. While you were gone, I determined the most likely source of these strange attacks. The master of the sacred palace. Who is that? A Dominican, appointed by the Pope, who ensures that Roman religious philosophy remains pure. He never liked my studies to begin with. Now that I have crossed the Templars, he has clearly retaliated. Where can I find him? Cardinals typically congregate nearby. Follow one of them. The Master likes to greet each one. Perhaps you will hear more conclusive evidence. Will Padre Donato be handing out food tomorrow? I am a proud man, but even I must eat. I suppose I must keep my wife from starving. Master. Today. Julian, any news of Copernico and the others? Nothing. Those fools, inundating the people with their theories. We can barely contain the populace as it is. I have dispatched my best guards to deal with them. I trust they will make quick work of it. I must stop them. You are right. The Master intends to kill you. I will not let his bullying stop my research. Tonight there is an eclipse. I intend to chronicle it. But the Master hunts for you. Better to die enlightened than to live in ignorance. His end will come much sooner than yours. Silencing the truth will not stop its spread. People are lazy. They will believe what we tell them to believe. I have sent my best man to find Copernico. You are already too late. Requiescat in pace. Is the world not marvelous? Some of it. You should not be so emotional. You will find it all makes more sense that way. Perhaps. Cesare thinks himself the center of it all. But he circles the periphery with the rest of us. Did you know that the Sun is most likely the midpoint of the universe, not the Earth? I see the movements of the Moon and the stars, and yet I can only observe. So much is unknown to me. This age of reason is but the beginning of an end I will never see. Someday we will be able to influence this world to exploit the power of human will to harness light and perhaps even travel into the heavens. But I am getting ahead of myself. First, we must see the sun spinning at the center. I believe what you say is possible. You should not accept my word. Not until I have proof. Soon. Buona notte, Ezio. And thank you. Ezio Auditore! Come in, come in! I'll kill you if you don't. <laughs> Bartolomeo. 
Wait here. You have to meet my wife. Fantasilea! Fantasilea! Where is she? Did you check behind the table? Ah, here she is. Lieta di conoscervi. Charmed. Truly. Now, we talk about war. How was the fight against the French? Bene. My men are holding their own. Machiavelli seemed to think things were more difficult. You know Machiavelli... Abbiamo bisogno del vostro aiuto! Scusatemi. Throw me Bianca. Ezio, let me get straight to the point. The fight is not going well. We have been attacked on both sides. Borgia on one, French on the other. But know this. The Borgia position is weak. If you can defeat them, we can concentrate our forces on the French front. I think I know a way to help. Thank you for disclosing this to me, Madonna Dalviano. It is the least a wife can do to help her husband. Ezio! We sent those luridi codardi running for the hills! Yes, we did. Now that the Pope's dogs have fled, I will be able to draw more men to the fight. But first I want to reinforce our barracks. Who will take care of this? I'm no good with these things. You are the educated one. You approve the plans. Va bene. But in return, I need to know Cesare and Rodrigo's every move. Can your men keep track of them for me? Of course. Isn't she a thing of beauty? Very impressive. More men join us every day. It has become very competitive, which is just the way I like it. As you can see, this board shows the ranks of our top warriors. Prove your skills, and you will move up the list. <laughs> Shouldn't I already be at the top? Chance fighting downstairs! If you're looking to show off, we also have fights. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got money on this match. <laughs> Where is Bartolomeo? At the fight downstairs. He has such an aggressive view of the world. However, strategy is equally important. Take these carrier pigeons, for example. Each one sent from Machiavelli bears the name of an important Templar in Roma. Eliminate them, and you will have more of an impact than a battle ever could. Thank you, Madonna. Can you ask Bartolomeo to come see me at Isola Tiberina with a report about Cesare and Rodrigo's whereabouts? He will be there. Madonna, has Machiavelli sent word? Yes. The pigeons deliver the names of key papal agents. The Jubilee has brought pilgrims to Roma, their money taken by the Church in exchange for absolution. Threats of damnation terrorize those reluctant to pay. The agents' collections go directly to Cesare. I will make money the least of their worries. <laughs> Ezio! La Volpe! I'm surprised to see you. And why have you appeared at my door? Wait, I know the answer. You always do. You want to put my spies to work? Then join me. In aiding Machiavelli? No, thank you. That man is a traitor to our order. A serious allegation coming from a thief. What is your proof? He was an ambassador to the papal court and traveled as a personal guest of Cesare himself. I also know he abandoned you right before the villa attack. Machiavelli may not please all tastes, but he is an assassin, not a traitor. I am not convinced. Ah, uh, he is meeting someone in the Trastevere right now. Care to accompany me? I will follow. What do you make of that? My son Claudio has been injured! They are going to shoot him! I will kill these! Go! Get the others! Quick! Hide from the guards! I cannot! They are going to kill me! 
Pay attention. Do what I do. Claudio! Molte grazie, Messere. Keep out of sight for a while, Contesi. The guards are looking for you. I see they have posters up. Then rip them down. You can pay the heralds a few florins to silence them. Or I can eliminate witnesses. <laughs> you know how to disappear. What a night this has been. Volpe, listen to me. I know what we saw. But you have nothing to fear from Machiavelli. I am sure of it. I have you to thank for saving Claudio's life. If you believe Machiavelli remains loyal to the Order, I trust you. So, what of the thieves? We had plans to repair this old building, but now that you and I are working together, I would like to know what you think. We need to make sure the Borgia stay away. Perhaps it could look like an inn. Yes. Hmm, I like that idea. Then I will make it so. Welcome, Ezio, to La Volpe Addormentata. The inn looks perfect. No one will ever suspect its real purpose. The guild will be run from here. Visit me whenever you like. There might be objectives to pursue that will help our cause in the city. I see you thieves compete against each other. You can participate if you wish. Perhaps you will show them a thing or two. Ah, yes, I forgot. We also have gambling. It is a great source of income, especially since we ensure that the Borgia guards always lose. One last thing. I need your spies to find the apple. It has been taken from me. We are searching the city for it already. Molto bene. Come to Isola Tiberina with your findings. I shall. What about that one? Oh, she is beautiful. Okay, then go talk to her. Just like that? Talk about what? It doesn't matter. See, little brother, most men are so afraid of beautiful girls that anyone who actually talks to them has an advantage. Just make it up as you go. What? What? Why are you just standing there? Oh, uh, um, because I wanted to ask you something, which is, what's your name? Not one you'll ever need to make use of. Aspetta, I wasn't ready. I was planning on being really charming and funny. And I just have a second chance. <laughs> ah, well. Ezio, all is not lost. You made her smile. She will remember you now. No, I can still fix this. I'll follow her a ways. See where she lives. I told you I'm not interested. See. Si. But I am. Get in line. I think not, amore mio. I've decided I'm tired of waiting for you to open your legs on your own. Cane Rognoso! What do you want here? This has nothing to do with you! Nice to see you too, Vieri. I think you're disturbing this young lady's day. You will pay for interfering. Your whole family will. Thank you. That was very kind of you. Are you alright? I am now. You asked for my name earlier. It's Cristina. Piacere, Cristina. I'm Ezio. Well, Ezio. Looks like you got yourself a second chance. Machiavelli, we must talk. Yes. I secured something of great worth from one of my contacts. We now have the names of several Templar agents Cesare has recruited to terrorize Roma. How do I find them? I can give you a general location. I suggest looking for signs of distress nearby. Perhaps you will uncover citizens who can point you in the right direction. My contact will continue searching for more names. This information came from a city guard. Yes. How did you know? 
Lucky guess. Grazie. Claudia Bartolomeo and La Volpe are waiting for you inside. I can't imagine how you did it. Virtù, Machiavelli. Virtù? What have you discovered? That bastardo Cesare is in the Castel Sant'Angelo with the Pope. My spies tell me that the apple has been secreted to someone for a study. I am working on determining his identity. Caterina will be moved to the prison within the Castello next week. Bene. So the Castello it is. Roma will heal quickly with Cesare and Rodrigo gone. Only if the opportunity to assassinate them arises will I take it. Do not repeat your mistake in the vault. You must kill them now. I'm with Machiavelli, Ezio. We should not wait. Bartolomeo is right. They must pay for Mario's death. Do not worry. They will die. You have my word. Salve, cittadini di Roma! Behold a sight most splendid! Caterina Sforza, she whore of Forli, has at last been brought to heel! Ha! No one kneels as low as Lucrezia Borgia! Who put you up to this? Was it your brother or your father? Perhaps a bit of both? Perhaps at the same time? Chiudi la bocca! None speak ill of the Borgia! The same will happen to any who defy us! Good people of Roma! Stay strong! You will be free! Your time will come! I swear it! They are going to torture her. You are here for Cesare and Rodrigo. Caterina is a powerful ally. If we help her now while she is weak, she will aid us in return. Perhaps. But kill Cesare and Rodrigo first. Forget the Pope, you only answer to me. Roma is the pillar that holds our entire enterprise aloft. She cannot wave, which means neither can you. What of Il Vaticano? That tired old man's club. Play along for now, but soon we will have no need of them. Cesare? Lucrezia... I hope you have treated our guest with kindness. I've got a mouth on her. How I'd love to sew it shut. I rather like it open myself. Oh. <laughs> have you talked to the Pope about the funds requested by my banker? He is away from the Castello, and he might need some convincing when he returns. That shouldn't be a problem. Should it? No. Only it gets quite lonely here. You and I spend so little time together these days, busy as you are with your other conquests. Soon. Once I have secured the throne of Italia, you are going to be my queen. And your loneliness will be a thing of the past. I cannot wait. Behave yourself while I am gone. Open her cell. How was the journey to Roma? Did you sit in Cesare's private carriage? You're pathetic, Lucrezia. What did he talk about? His plans for Napoli? Did you like it? I can't remember. Perhaps you will remember this. Ah! That puts you in your place. Lock it and give me the key. Rescuing me will provoke Cesare's wrath. Fortunately for us, he is away. Any chance there is a second key? The guard handed his to Lucrezia, so I assume not. Do you know where she is? Her quarters are at the top of the castello. All right, stay here. That key is as good as mine. I'm not going anywhere. I love you so. I want to sing it to the heaven. Please, you must whisper it only to yourself. If Cesare found out, who knows what he would do. What was that? I... I'm late for rehearsal. Farewell, my love. I heard the entire exchange, mia signora, and can vouch for it. Good. Tell Cesare. We shall see how it feels when the shoe is on the other foot. Yes, signora.
Please, continue. I did not mean to interrupt. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. How nice to finally meet after hearing so much. A pity Cesare is no longer here. He would have enjoyed this. My fight is not with you, Lucrezia. Free Caterina, and I will stand down. Impossible! Then you leave me no choice. Terra Troia! Always a pleasure. Bring her here, I'll take the key. Oh, classy. Guards! Guards! <laughs> That's enough out of you! Can you walk? No. I guess we are going out the front. Don't you dare! <laughs> Hurry, Ezio. Ride across the bridge. I will cover you. Go to Isola Tiberina. Find Machiavelli there. You will be waiting for me. What about you? Someone has to stay here and distract the guards. Get back in one piece, or I will never forgive myself. Go! Ezio. Where is Machiavelli? I could not find him. I brought the Contessa here. Caterina. Care to tell us where you have been? Looking for Ezio. What of Cesare and Rodrigo? Cesare rode off before I could get close to him. And Rodrigo was somewhere else entirely. That is odd. Rodrigo is usually at the Castello. Very odd indeed. What a waste. No offense. None taken. With Cesare gone to Urbino, we must build our forces. I thought we intended to strike now. Impossible. Cesare commands a massive army in Romagna. You would never reach him. I say we work here, in Roma. Erode the Borgia's influence while restoring our own. And in fact, I want to begin right now. Volpe, bring Claudia and Bartolomeo here. Machiavelli, meet me outside. Take care of her. Look, the Borgia rob everything from the people to maintain power. What do you intend to do? We will recruit him to our cause. You cannot be serious. To win this war, Machiavelli, we need loyal soldiers. By recruiting enemies of the state, we arm those who have been disarmed by the Borgia. Go then. Recruit our first novices. Assassin! The liberation of Roma has begun. If you choose to flee, do so now. But if you choose to fight, Stand with me against the Borgia. I am tired of hiding in the shadows. I will join you. Then seek Niccolo Machiavelli on Isola Tiberina, and we will make you one of us. Their lies will no longer mask your truth. The liberation of Roma has begun. I thank you. It would be an honor to fight alongside you, Signore. Bambino. Why do you cry? They're going to take my mama on a boat ride. They say I will go on the next one. Who? A man from the castle came with guards and arrested us. He scared me. They are scary. But you look very brave. Will you bring my mama back? Where did they take your mother? Down that street. Good. Do you have some place to go for now? My uncles. Go there. Do not stop to talk to anyone. Like we are Scott in pace. Kela. Ezio. Leonardo. I knew you were behind the breaking at Sant'Angelo. It is good to see you, friend. Come here. Forgive me. The Borgia have commandeered my services. Actually, they would have killed me had I refused. What do they want? War machines. I have constructed weapons for all the Borgia guards and other terrible monstrosities besides. They are very well designed, Ezio. Here, the names of the Templars overseeing their construction. Cesare intends to supply his army with my creations. You must dismantle them. Grazie. I will take care of the plans and the machines. 
There is far graver news, I am afraid. They have the apple. Yes, I know. I gave the apple to Mario. I am sorry, Ezio. Cesare left it in my hands to study, to make it work. Then Rodrigo took it from me. I know not where. I will recover it in time. Leonardo, I have lost all the Codex inventions you once fashioned for me. Hmm. Remaking them will be easy. I never forget the design. But you must compensate me for the raw material. Really? They are not paying you at Il Vaticano? Very, very little. If we are to do this, we must appear to not meet at all. A hand pointing. It's pointing to where you should sit. So sit. Yes, Maestro. Where have you been? We all have our secrets. I took the liberty of setting up a means of communication with your recruits. We send orders via carrier pigeon. Thank you, Machiavelli. Bartolomeo sends his apologies. The French have doubled their assault. Claudia. Ezio. All right. I have a plan to deal with the Borgia. We can either go after supplies or Cesare's followers. My plan is to attack both. If we cut off his funds, Cesare will lose his army and return without his men. So, I ask you, where does he get his money? Volpe? Agostino Chigi is the Pope's moneylender, but Cesare does business with someone else. As of now, all we know is that he is called the Banker. I know someone who owes the Banker money. Senator Rigidio Troche comes in all the time and complains. Bene, I will follow up on that lead. French soldiers are guarding the road back into the castello. Once Cesare arrives, you will never get to him. I intend to kill the French general. With him dead, Bartolomeo will have the Frenchmen on the defensive, and they will abandon their posts on the bridge. Even with those troops gone, the Papal Guard will continue to protect the inner gate. There is a side entrance. Lucrezia's latest plaything, Pietro, has a key. He was at the castello. Come see me later. I will have my thieves ascertain his location. Where are you going? I am of no use to anyone without Forli. I leave to be with my children, and await the restoration of my lands. I wish you would stay. You are the leader of the assassins now. Unite them, Ezio Atitore, and take back Roma. Vittoria agli assassini! Vittoria agli assassini. What do you want? You spoke of a senator at the meeting. Find him on the Campidoglio. You do not need me. Once I kill the banker, your girls must take his money back to the underground. Fine. Stay alert. No more arguing. Your bill has come due. Make an exception for an old man. No. The banker sent us to collect. I will have his money momentarily. Not good enough. Good Samaritan in Roma. I thought they were a dying breed. Senator Egidio Troche. I don't owe you money too, do I? I'm looking for Cesare's banker. Ha! Cesare Borgia. And you are? A friend of the family. Cesare has a lot of friends these days. Unfortunately, I'm not one of them. I can pay. Ma che meraviglia! He fights guards and he gives away money. Where have you been all my life? We better get out of here. I know a place. Maledette letters. I should never have sent them to the ambassador. Now Cesare will murder me. 
Benvenuto to the home of my brother Francesco. Thank God he's not here. We haven't talked since he found out about the letters. What did you want again? Cesare's banker. Right. I need to arrive with the money. Problem is, there is no money. You are meeting the banker. Where? I never know until I'm there. I go to one of three places. Then his friends take me to him. I will bring you all the money you owe. Sul serio? You need to stop this. You might actually give me hope. Cannot believe you would just do this. There is a condition. I knew it. Keep an eye on the politics of the city. I want you to report back to Maria and Rosa in Fiore about targets who are helping the Borgia. And what? You'll make them disappear? The pezzo di merda may hate me, but he's still family. Va bene, we go. I will follow you to the banker. Egidio brought the money. Well, well. The banker has a special evening plan. I will be delivering your payment. Give it here. Hold him until I get back. I better not lose sight of the money. Everything going well in there? We have to go, Luigi, or we'll be late. Count is complete. Va bene. Kill him. No. Lucky you. Luigi says he gets to live. Lead the way, boss. Hand me the chest, Luigi. I will bring it to the banker. You may enter. We can't go in. You have to patrol by order of Cesare. Por Capitana. Cesare? Is he here? Luigi has been killed. We discovered his body at the Pantheon. Luigi? We just let him in. Money for you, banker. I will take that. And that. You are dismissed. Where did I put my coin purse? Honoratissima. Welcome to my party. I am Juan Borgia. Cesare is about to speak in the main room, Eccellenza. Come. What better way to celebrate my victories than to join in the Brotherhood of Man? Soon! We will be here once more, celebrating a united Italia. And then, the feasting will last for 40 days and 40 nights. Cominciamo ora! We did not agree to conquer Italia. If your brilliant Captain General says we can do it, why not rejoice and let it happen? You risk upsetting the delicate balance of control we have worked so hard to tighten. I appreciate all that you have done for me, but I have the army, so I am making the decisions. Don't look so bad. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> the things I have felt, seen, Tasted? I do not regret a moment of it. The men of power must be contemptuous of delicacies. But I gave the people what they wanted. And now you pay for it. Il piacere immeritato si consuma da se. Reguiescat in pace. their plans. You are the assassin, am I right? You must stop Cesare. I will help you. Let me take you to them. Grazie.
ready for testing. We are working day and night. My men cannot go any faster. I... I... Perdonatemi, Leonardo. Where are Claudia and Maria? We came back with the money. They followed us home. <laughs> what? My sister knows how to wield a knife. And I am ready to do it again. Spoken like a true auditore. Finally, you two came to your senses. It's about time. This was your stand? See, si. everything has been broken. Who did this? Donato Mancini. I rode against his horse in the races and made the mistake of winning. You, though, everyone is talking about you. How you fight against the Borgia's men. Donato has demanded I meet him alone. I fear he intends to kill me. Where can I find him? Grazie, Dio. He is waiting at the Cerco Massimo. That's where they hold their private races. Requiescat in pace. I wish I could keep you. Thank you for coming. Of course, of course. Tell me, what can I do? My family's bodies. I can't just leave them hanging from the gallows. I need to give them last rites. Send them on to the next world. Capisco. Lead the way, Ezio. Where are the bodies that hung here? They've already been taken. Where? Tell me where they are. I don't know. I think they were taking them down to the river, to Dunford. No. What will you do? Only one thing to do. Kill them. No, don't do that. They did nothing wrong. They follow orders unquestioningly. That makes them... It's you. Va bene. I'll sneak behind their backs. Get my family, one at a time if I have to. And carry them down to the river. Be careful. I have to leave the city. Christina, I want you to come with me. I want to, but I can't. My family. So we'll always be together, Christina. It's you. Who goes there? Salve to you too. Ezio! I was expecting my wife. Somehow that does not surprise me. The French putane have us under pressure. Tell me about their general, this Baron de Valois. Cesare persuaded King Louis to lend him an entire army to defeat me. I'm flattered. Where can I find him? It's only a matter of time before I have Valois by the throat. We have them in retreat. They seem to be getting closer. The situation is under control. Close the gates! Benny, so maybe I could use a little help. Bonjour, General Dalviano. Êtes-vous prêt à vous rendre? Why don't you come closer and say that? You must learn how to speak French. 
It would mask your barbaric sensibilities. Perhaps you could teach me, and I would instruct you in fighting, since you seem to do so little of it. As amusing as this parley has been, I'd like your unconditional surrender before sunrise. Ha! My Lady Bianca will whisper it in your ear. I believe another lady might object to that. Mio marito vi ammazzerà tutti. I'll kill you for tutto francese! Calm down for your wife's sake. You know my terms. Enter my camp unarmed at dawn. And practice your French. Soon all of Italy will be speaking it. I'll get you, pezzo di merda, figlio di puttana! You steal a man's wife and then go hide inside a fortress? Nothing hangs between your thighs. In fact, there is a hole there, so deep it reaches into the maledetto inferno! What good are you to our dead? We will regroup and fight through the gates as we did at the Arsenale. The entrance is thicker with Frenchmen than the streets of Paris. So we will climb the battlements. They cannot be scaled. Pantasilea would know what to do. Maybe this is the end. I enter at dawn bearing gifts. And hope that coward spares her life. Perché non ci ho pensato prima? What did I say? Call your men back to the barracks. I will explain there. You better have something good. Fall back! So, you have a plan. Once inside, your men can overpower the camp's patrols, correct? Yes, but... Especially if the patrols are taken completely by surprise. Ma certo. Then we need to liberate several suits of French armor. At dawn, we are going to walk right in. Ah! Ezio Auditore! You are truly a man after my own heart. <laughs> Magnifico! I will get the armor. My troops will gather it from the dead. We will then depart from the north, so as not to arouse suspicion. And Ezio! Make sure to kill them without a fight. The armor has to stay clean. Bring me a suit of that perverted armor. You are not wearing one. What? It is part of the plan. You surrender to us, we are bringing you to the Baron. Ah, yes. Then what? Your men attack on my signal. Bene! Go change into costume. Don approaches. Get into formation! Que venez-vous faire ici? Mes soldats, conjuise le capitaine italien à son excellence, le baron. Il vous surround. What part of France are you from? Montréal! Open the gates! Don't speak French. There were a couple of French girls in Firenze. <laughs> General Dalviano. It seems that you have seen the light. Enough of your crap! Release my wife! Such entitlement from a man born with nothing to his name. Mine is worth its currency, unlike yours, which is counterfeit! How dare you! You think that commanding an army grants you nobility? Nobility comes from fighting beside your soldiers, not kidnapping a woman to cheat your way out of battle! Why don't you grow up here and release my wife? You savages never learn. I only wanted respect. Respect is earned, not inherited or purchased. Perhaps you are right. I need more time. Che tu sia pari nella morte, fra cui è scatto in pace. Fantasilea! Don't ever disappear again. I was lost without you. Really? But you rescued me. 
Ezio came up with a brilliant plan. I did not. It was all your husband's idea. It was? You are my prince. Now I better earn that title. You will. Thank you. No! I will not! Stop! Stop! Where are the plans? Past the guards! In my house! It is the last one! And the machine! In the tower! On top of the fortress! Grants. They intend to craft more weapons. Leonardo, you will help me stop them. Adio, amigo. Ezio, news has spread that all my inventions have been destroyed. The disarray allowed me to work on something just for you. What is this? A new device to drift slowly from any height. It is not as cumbersome as my flying machine. You can take it everywhere. Grazie, Leonardo. Ezio, the Borgia grow uncertain as your attacks continue. The Pope's spies move throughout the city. Fortunately, Machiavelli has uncovered their names. Grazie. Reguiescat. In pace. Buongiorno, Ezio. It is time to pay a visit to Lucrezia's lover, Pietro. I've sent my men now to find him. Molto bene. Ezio, if I may... What is it? Someone warned Rodrigo to stay away from the castello. Machiavelli? Do you have proof? No. We must not be split apart by mere suspicion. The Borgia know the locations of our spies. Who told them? Maestro Machiavelli asked about our search for Pietro earlier today. Ezio? I noticed the pellegrino. What were you able to find out? Pietro is to be assassinated this evening. Cesare said he's butchered. Did you uncover information about Pietro? The man is an actor, and he is performing in a play stanotte. What did you find out about Pietro? He is to be suspended from a cross. Micaletto will come for him with a spear. Where is Pietro? I cannot tell you. But Micheletto waits at the city gate east of the Terme di Traiano. He intends to disguise his men to make the killing look like an accident. He will lead me to Lucrezia's lover. Ezio, Machiavelli has betrayed us. We would both wish to deny it, but the truth is now clear. Do what needs to be done. If you don't, I will. Without Volpe's thieves, I may require the help of my recruits. Once you get dressed, you follow me to the play. Capito? Tieni. Once you get dressed, you follow me to the play. Capito? This is for you. Once you get dressed, you follow me to the play. Capito? Il tuo costume. I seek Pietro. He acts on stage, signore. One of my men will take you to him. Don't forget, I wear the black shirt. Protect me and wait for pilot call to the Centurion to strike. I must get to Pietro before he does. My God! My God! Why hast thou thus forsaken me? Merda. Which cross is Pietro's? Hark! Hark how he crieth upon Elijah to deliver him! Wait and we shall see whether Elijah dare come here or not. My thirst is great. My thirst is great. 
Yes, thou shalt drink no more! I need to get on stage. Ha! <sighs> you cannot save Pietro. The wine he drank was poisoned. As I promised Cesare, I made doubly sure. I am not yet dead. I did not come here to kill you. He who is the cause of someone else becoming powerful is the agent of his own destruction. Cut him down. This was not in rehearsal. Hold out the guards. He has been poisoned. That pal, Cantarella, drink this. Hurry! Give him a moment. I feel slightly better. Leeches will lead to a full recovery. I cannot thank you enough. I... The key to the Castel Sant'Angelo. Now. What are you talking about? I'm simply a poor actor. Cesare knows about you and Lucrezia. Here. Stop! Wait for us! We thought you had been killed, Sir Ezio. Not yet. Where does this passage lead? To the north, outside the walls. Let me through! I must go help the troops! Un momento! You were at the Villa Auditore during the attack! Why did you run? I... You are the traitor. Not Machiavelli. Long live the Borgia! Merda. I was right. I have to stop La Volpe before he gets to Machiavelli. I have discovered the traitor. What? One of our men. He was at the villa attack. Here. He carried his letter. My god. This is good news. More than you know. I am once again in your debt, Ezio. What debt is there amongst friends who trust one another? Yes. Thank you for relaying the message in time. Come, Niccolò. It has been far too long since we've talked. I heard the Colosseum Passion Play took an unexpected turn this evening. Really? It seems Jesu Cristo was resurrected three days early. Volpe, how goes Roma? Very well, Ezio. The French and Papal forces are in disarray. Then it is almost time. Call the assassins together. And bring Claudia. Now? Yes. La Ashaya Wakton Mutlak, Bel Kulun Mumkin. The wisdom of our creed is revealed through these words. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. Claudia. We here dedicate our lives to protecting the freedom of humanity. Mario, our father, and our brother once stood around this fire, fighting off the darkness. Now, I offer the choice to you. Join us. You and I have not seen eye to eye on many issues. Niccolò! But you are exactly what the Order needed. You have led the charge against the Templars and rebuilt this brotherhood. Now we must put Ezio where he belongs. At the head of the Assassins. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. You will now be known as Il Mentore, the guardian of our Order and our secrets. Where other men blindly follow the truth, remember, nothing, nothing is, is true. true. Why this sudden change of heart? I have always stood by you. I was the one who brought you to Roma, 
and the one who caused the explosion as you fled the Castello. The mercenary who protected you at Il Colosseo were mine as well. You just did not know it. Maestro Machiavelli! Cesare has returned to Roma alone! He rides for the Castel Sant'Angelo! Grazie. Well? The decision is yours, not mine. Nicolò, you better not stop telling me what you think. Why else would I seek the opinion of my most trusted advisor? Go kill them, Mentore. Finish what you started. Good advice. I intend to write a book about you one day. If you do, make it short. Ezio! You have need of my assistance. The thieves in Roma are young. Skilled, but young. Prone to rivalries. Another gang? The Cento Occhi. Cesare Borgia's bootlickers. They cause us significant trouble. Where can I find them? My thieves will show you. <gasps> Ezio! What are you doing here? I only just came back to Firenze. Look at you. Beautiful as ever. But... Oh, Ezio, I... It's been two years! And I've thought of nothing but you. Oh, but Ezio... What is it? I'm engaged to be married. My father kept asking me to choose. I thought I would never see you again. Ah! It's Manfredo! He's going to kill him! What? Untale, he lost money to. He's dragged them out to the end of the new bridge. Who the hell is Manfredo? My fiancé! Grazie, Messere. You don't know how close. Oh, hey! Aspetta! What are you doing? Do you love her? What? Do you love her? Cristina! The woman you're about to marry! Yes, I do. I, I swear I do. Kill me here, and I will die still loving her. You are never going to gamble again. Never, Messere. You will be a good husband to her. Or I will hunt you down. Kill you myself. He's fine. He'll make a good husband. I made sure of it. What? What has happened here? I do not know what you mean. My funds, my troops, gone! Financial difficulties strike all of us. Even those with an army. You intend to give me money? No, I do not. Then I will use the piece of Eden to get what I want. Your help is not necessary. That has been made abundantly clear to me. Are you aware that the Baron de Valois is dead? No. Did you? What reason could I possibly have to kill him? Was he plotting against me with my brilliant traitorous Captain General? I do not have to stand for this! The assassins murdered him. Why did you not stop them? As if I could. It was not my decision to attack Monterigione. It was yours. It is high time you took responsibilities for your actions. My accomplishments! Despite the constant interference of failures like you! You are not going anywhere. I have the peace of Eden. Get out of my way, old man. I gave you everything, and yet it's never enough. Cesare! He intends to poison you! You would not listen to reason. Father, do you not see? I control all of this! If I want to live, I live. 
If I want to take, I take. If I want you to die, you die! Ah! Where is the piece of Eden? Stop! I know where it is! And you did not tell me he had taken it? Cesare, it's me, your queen. You are my sister, nothing more. Where is it? You never loved me? Where is the apple? Tell me! Jack! Tell me! Requiescat in pace. I know. <clears throat> I know where that bastard is going. San Pietro. The pavilion in the courtyard. <clears throat> Thank you. Assassino! Cazzo. I will come for you later. You! Looking for this. It ends now, assassino. My sword will take your life. Rodrigo Borgia is dead. And Cesare? Poison, but alive. We must not allow him to assemble his remaining supporters. The coming weeks are critical. With your aid, I will hunt him down. My men will patrol the city, but we might need an army. We have one. You must find them. They are everywhere and nowhere at once. I do not care how they do it. We cannot on our own, signore. You must help us. I am ill, you idiot! Micheletto will soon be here with my armies, and then you will see how quickly the Assassini fall! You delude yourself, Cesare! God! The Cardinal revealed under stress that Cesare plans to meet with Templar loyalists in the countryside. The Cardinal departs for the meeting tonight. I will follow him. Join me and I will take back Roma. We have decided to elect Della Rovere to the papacy. We are sorry. I paid for your appointment. Roma is not the same as it once was. Borgia money has become tainted. You will regret this decision! Assassino! Run! Hired men promise you their blood, but as soon as you need help, they turn against you. Guards! My men tell me Cesare rallies his best soldiers in front of the main gate into Roma. Gather the assassins. We face him together. All of Italia shall be united! And you will rule beside me! Come to watch my triumph! Soon, Micheletto and his army will arrive, but you shall be dead before then. Insieme per la vittoria! Vittoria agli assassini! Throw down your arms, Cesare Borgia. Micheletto's troops mass behind me. We will take back my city once and for all. This is not your city anymore. By order of Pope Julius II, I arrest you, Cesare Borgia, for the crimes of murder Betrayal and incest. No! 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 This is not how it ends! Chains will not hold me! I will not die by the hand of man! It was the manner in which he said it. Chains will not hold me. If you are so worried, there is a way to find out. No, it is too powerful. It must be hidden outside the domain of men. 
What a shame. Hiding a masterpiece where no one will ever see it. And yet, what if he meant what he said? I cannot risk it. Cesare was right. I have to leave. What about your friends? I built this brotherhood to last. With or without me. What do you intend to do? Plant a seed. Here, a gift. If this is goodbye, then keep your money. I do not want it. We will see each other again. You have my word. Buona fortuna, my oldest friend. And take the money. On your meager salary, you will need it. My patron has been arrested, after all. How did you find me? The apple you stole from Mario Alvitore let me hear. Kill him! Kill the assassin! Tear the maldito bastardo to pieces! Mine. Wanting something does not make it your right. What do you know? That a true leader empowers the people he rules. I will lead mankind into a new world. Can the sooner record you to a moment? in pace. You cannot kill me. No man can murder me! Then I leave you in the hands of fate. was mine! What do you know? I will lead mankind into a new world. You cannot kill me! No man can murder me! 